Trying to get how you work, the way you misdirect. Yeah, you think? Yeah, you, you want to drag Michael into this freak show of a trial. But you should stop thinking that way because it's not going to happen. You will not get the chance to use my son against me. I assure you, Mr. Corinthos, that your son will most definitely play a pivotal role in this conviction. I don't understand. You're taking me to court? Mrs. Grayer from Family Service should be coming with us. Why? Well, the lawyer's handling your dad's case. They have a few questions to ask you. All the legal paperwork's in order, right, Mrs. Danford? It appears to be, yes. Okay, I'm sorry, Morgan. I just really isn't a choice about this. Fine. But I won't say one single thing to hurt my dad. Livia, so this whole disaster you set in motion. You moved heaven and earth to have Claire Wash appointed prosecutor to this case. This woman wants to be the hotshot lawyer who puts big, bad Sonny Corinthos in prison. She's, she's young and she's motivated and, and she has no personal ties to Sonny. And she's and that's out a for plus. the truth, Jax, and the truth is Michael. And if she finds him, one of two things will happen. He will lie and Sonny will go to prison or he will confess. And you know what? Maybe then you'll realize the damage you've done. Have a nice day with our little girl. Thanks. My sons would never give up on me. You already had your shot with Dante. What happened? He didn't testify the way you wanted him to. He told the truth, nothing but the truth, right? Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. My brain is reeling with one-liners about who had a shot at Dante, but I'll refrain. That's funny to you? That's funny, huh? A woman is dead. Mm-hmm. And the thug who killed her thinks he can get away with it because he gets away with murder on a daily basis. And a good cop lies on the stand and dishonors his badge. There is nothing funny about this, Mr. Corinthos. You don't know anything, especially about my son. Dante wants me convicted of Claudia's murder. He doesn't want to fabricate testimony. That's, he wants it to go down by the book. He would never choose loyalty to me over loyalty to the badge. Dante knows Michael saw Claudia die. He knows where Michael is right now. Believe what you want. Be as wrong as you want. Because you know what? It'll work to my advantage in the long run. Well, I'll tell you what I'm exactly right about, right at this moment. You hide behind your family. You have them fight your battles for you when you get really close to paying for the life you live. And it's astonishing, really. Your children, your ex-wives, your old girlfriends, singing you praises, Sonny Corinthos, the good mobster. That is such a load of crap, because you know what you are? You're a coward and a bully. And putting you away is more than performing a public service. It's a, it's a life-affirming favor for everyone unfortunately involved in your world, especially your sons. So if you will please excuse me, I have an important witness I have to prepare for. I know about Keeper's parents, uh, Warren and Melissa. Melinda. Okay, Melinda, is that they're members of the country club and that Warren is a business associate of Jack's. Uh -huh. Are you listening to me? I'm sorry, uh, Melinda and Warren Bauer, okay, where are you going with this? Why don't you watch my lips, it might help. Luke's son, Ethan, your cousin, has been arrested for the hit-and-run death of the Bowers' son. Luke and I believe he's innocent. Okay, what do you want me to do about it? I want you to use your influence with Jax to convince the Bowers not to tar and feather Ethan before a proper investigation is done. <laughs> yeah, you're talking to the wrong person. When it comes to guilty and innocence and what constitutes punishment, Jax and I couldn't be further apart. But he's real high on believing he's right these days, so you should get him on Ethan's side. Jax gets results. No one gets better results than Jax. Excuse me. Hello, Carly Jax. Mrs. Jax, this is Principal Danforth from Queen of Angels. Hi, is there a problem with Morgan? I'm not sure. A policeman and a social worker took Morgan out of school. I need to see Lucky. He's not here right now. Anything I can do? You understand? 
underhanded bastard. I want my son, and I mean now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, what son are we talking about? Don't act like you don't know. I don't know. What the hell is going I on? I got a call from Morgan's principal. A cop and a social worker showed up and took him out of school. Gee, I wonder who would do that. Well, it wasn't me. Okay, but I probably know who it was and why they did it. Thank you. So how long is this going to take? Not long. You nervous? A little. Don't be. This is not the two real. Just answer the questions truthfully. Well, what are, you, what are you looking at? What do I got, spinach in my teeth or something? Don't I said I shouldn't trust you. He's just being a good big brother. All right, he's looking out for you. That's the way it works. And uh, as for the rest, you know, Dante and I, we fight all the time. We go way back. Why isn't he here? I shouldn't be telling you this, Morgan. Dante's in a little bit of trouble. What kind of trouble? The lawyers who are handling your dad's case, they, uh, they're they trying to make it seem like Dante lied on the stand. Hey, that's a really big deal. Have you heard of perjury? It's where you lie under oath, right? Exactly. Okay, it's a crime. Dante could lose his badge. And you know how much that means to him, right? Well, it's time for you to step up to the plate, kid. All right? Set things straight for your brother. Call your next witness. The prosecution calls Morgan Corinthos. Objection, Your Honor. Morgan Corinthos is a minor. He has not been properly deposed, and he's not even on the witness list. It's a fast-moving case, Counselor. You got to try to keep up. Are giving me grounds for Mr. Everybody, calm down. Stop this seriously, or I will right now. Shh. Your Honor, permission to approach the bench alone. Ms. Walsh, any objection? No, Your Honor, I'm not concerned. You put my kid on the stand, and I, you have my word. You will regret it. I mean it. You put Morgan on the stand, you're going to be very, very sorry. Did you just threaten me in open court? The defendant will return to his seat and keep his ass planted there. I'll be restrained for the duration of this trial. Do I make myself clear? Absolutely, Your Honor. Take yes, uh, she, I thought she Counselor, asked me. Take your seat. But, but my, my... Denied. <laughs> Bring in the witness. Thank you for derailing whatever progress I was making with Judge Carroll on your idiotic behalf. All right, people. The next witness is a 12-year-old boy. And anyone here who upsets him, including his father, will be looking at jail time for contempt. You need to stop this. Morgan knows the truth. Yes, but Claire Walsh doesn't know the truth. And if she doesn't know what she's fishing for, it's unlikely she's going to hook anything. So just sit there, be quiet, and let me try and save your life. Well, maybe we had a bad connection. I'll say it again. An order went out to take Morgan Corinthos, a minor, out of Queen of Angels school. A judge and an officer put that plan into motion. I want to know who they were and where they took the boy. Why the hell are they doing this? Because Morgan knows a lot. No one knows he does. I know that could work in our favor. Claire, Claire Walsh left the show, but this could be for effect, or she could be trying to get Sonny to go off again. And he will. This is a potential disaster. And, and Morgan is such a trusting little boy. If he's asked questions in a certain manipulative way, who knows what he'll tell them, Jason? Well, hopefully Morgan knows what not to say. See, it's not your father you need to protect. There you go, kid. He's fine, all right? His lawyer, something else. It's Dante you gotta take care of. How? You just agree with everything they tell you that Dante said. And don't forget, okay, he's the same guy who jumped in front of a runaway car to save you when he didn't even know you guys were brothers. Now it's my chance to save him. Exactly. We're ready. You're up, kid. Knock it out of the park like Jeter would. Go make your brother proud. <laughs>